Hello and welcome to the uh, 16th? Yes, 16th episode of the Nomura playthrough of uh, Berry Creek Kingdom. And we are uh, finally getting into the mountain here. And we are digging out what is probably going to be my new great hall. We just, well, we didn't even finish the previous one, that, but that's the barracks great hall or dining room. So we'll be having multiple dining rooms, it seems. Um, but this will be the <coughs> center of the main fortress where dwarves meet other dwarves and not dwarves, gnomes <laughs> meet other gnomes, <laughs> drink booze and eat some good food, meet some ambassadors and faraway people from faraway lands in this great area here. So it's going to be not actually on this level, but on the level below, there will be a edge going around here <coughs> where I'll have some statues and lights and all kinds of stuff on the walls and on the floors and uh, actually on the level down here we'll have a some kind of design on the floor there plus ton of uh, Tables, chairs, statues, all kinds of cool stuff to make it really worth a lot. But firstly, let's install some more lights in there, and we'll have to dig out. There's a bit of coal there, I want the coal. Also, I want to get these edges there changed, so I'll be mining a bit into there and changing stuff in the walls. Uh, we are also doing some prospecting here, getting a bunch of copper slivers and silica. So let's take a look at the kiln. Uh, I think kiln was the place where they used the silica, and it was something I really wanted to do. And it is ceramic tiles that you get out of those. Let's make four ceramic tiles. I want to see how they look. Because they sound very high end. We need to dig out as much clay as we can, and also probably trade for the clay. Which I might do uh, on the next go when we get a trader. Also, I want more uh, serpentine marble and everything else he has to offer. Hopefully, he also brings um, uh, different animals. I think there is yaks. Well, I, I know there is yaks. <laughs> Look at the yak. Think about the yak. Uh, but uh, there is emus, yaks, and I think there is alpacas. And uh, I would like to get some of those as well. Only one pole missing from the fence there, and uh, well, there is one, on two uh, actually three on the bridge, so it's getting done slowly but surely. And uh, I was thinking about using a lapis lazuli uh, blocks as the floor here. At least some of that part of it will be something else. We could go for a checkerboard design. Uh, I think that might be a bit, bit too boring, or something else. I don't know. Also, uh, having some water, flowing water in there would be cool, but I, I don't know how we actually get that in there. I uh, wonder if I can pump some of this water somehow up here, to our fortress style. But we'll 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 think about that later on. Would be nice to have a well, like right in the middle, easily accessible drinkable water inside the fortress. But for now we can use just a well in here. I wonder if well works multiple levels. We can actually quickly while this stuff is have this stuff is happening we'll quickly check out the wiki for that and if it's possible. Well is an emergency drink Emergency drink source for your gnomes. It must be built over well, over water to function, and it allows gnomes to relieve meager 10 points of thirst at time. So, I wonder if it has to be like directly above the water, or can it be several several uh, layers above, like a if I want to build a tower for the well up here and drink from the 
while they're there. Because uh, if that's the case, we could uh, just uh, dig a hole through here, let the water pour in, and then just have a hole in here go into the uh, water below. We can try that. We should we should give it a go. Jack is born. Nice. So the rancher will probably get the Jack in there in a second. I wonder if there's mu I think there was some multiple Jacks being born. I think we are gonna have to start executing some of these into sausage. I wonder if the rancher is actually sleeping. What's happening here? Oh, the builders are all done. Uh, yeah, he, you are working on this prospecting now. Pretty much only. Uh, let's uh, remove the profession from the rancher for now. I think I need a dedicated guy for this. Stop prospecting, please. How about the blacksmith? While you're not doing any of that, you'll prospect stuff. Yeah, you're, you're just idle anyway. Anyway, so let's let the rancher do his work in here and uh, the blacksmith can do the prospecting for now. And my, my builders are lazy buggers and totally idle at the moment, so they could do something instead of just running around in this, that room. So, do I need to remove the stairs before I can replace the stair? Because there is no replace stair option here. Let's see if I can just build on top of the old stairs. That's not stairs. Stairs up. Stone, raw, puzzle. No, I, I do need to remove those, so before I can change those, we have to remove them. Which way the map is supposed to be? This way. <sighs> what do we do next? We could replace the floor on all of this. Mm. Ah, yeah, let's, let's do it. Why not? Uh, not remove, but replace floor, stone floor, raw stone. We have a ton of granite, so let's go. Let's go nuts. Hopefully this doesn't prevent them from using this. While this is happening, I missed a couple tiles. At the edge there. So that should give them something to do for a while. Let's uh, pave the stones, uh, pave the way with stones into our fortress. We should also install a couple stone pikes here. Uh, I mean, pikes with skulls in here to scare away the goblins. Also, I want to build. Uh, I was talking about that uh, archer tower or crossbow tower in this corner some time ago, a couple of episodes ago, I think, and uh, I think that would be a really, really cool idea. So let's uh, add a couple dirt walls in there, so that this corner is actually square, like that, and we'll have a just a tiny tower over there, where a couple of crossbow guys can just hang on the to top of the building, just a raining death from my bow. I think it's gonna be. Hmm. 5x5. Five five. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do 5x5. Five five. They are gonna also serve as a lookout in here. And, uh,. I need to somehow make a path for them to easily get into the tower 
and back to the fortress. And I, I think I might punch a hole in here, just make a staircase down into this layer, and then have a tunnel running here. Ammo storage somewhere in here as well, close by. Actually, the ammo storage should be kind of in the middle of uh, this bridge and this tower. Some of the crossbow guys will be stationed here, and some in there. So early warning, and they can drain a lot of death in this whole area here, while these guys just uh, shoot whoever gets through into there, and they can also shoft them targets out from this side while these melee guys hang around at the entrance here, which I will design a bit more eventually to have like a proper gatehouse in this area and not just uh, let them run into our barracks this sleeping area here. This will be walled off and there will be some kind of bridge over this water and going this way and this will be walled off as well so that the tunnel actually is just straight in there. So you guys keep working in there, and you guys keep working on that tile there. So what do we have here? Copper slivers, silica, malachite slivers, ooh. What is malachite for? Uh, my memory in these materials is kinda bad. So it's a greenish looking metal found in levels, minus 10 to minus... 59. Oh, there is a lot of levels on this one. Malachite has the same stats as copper but can be used to craft bronze. Armor and weapons made of malachite look interesting but should quickly be replaced by bronze to avoid losses of military gnomes. Because it's common and its military stats are weak, it's considered a decorative metal. However, silver, gold and platinum are more valuable. So that means we can freely pretty much use them. Also, let's see what the slivers do. How many slivers do I actually need for a bar? Slivers can be obtained using prospecting. Other way of obtaining slivers is smelting worn equipment as in smelter. So 10 slivers and one coal turns into a bar. So you, you're gonna have to prospect a ton of shit <laughs> to get anywhere. Oh, hello, ambassador. We'll uh, situate the ambassador in this room. Mur is gonna get kicked out again. He can reclaim <laughs> that again. There we go. Ambassador, go there. So let's see how much we have actually prospected once this guy moves out of the way. Oh, there we go. So... Silver sliver, ooh. Another silver sliver. So we, we have a couple slivers of everything, but nothing really to actually make anything. Ooh, the ceramic tiles are already. We can more make more. Let's make four more. I don't know where to use the ceramic tiles yet, they, they sound interesting and I, I, I need to check out how they look before I kind of decide where to spend those. I wonder if they are expensive. I wonder if they are there, ceramic tile. Worth two. No, no, not much. How much is a block worth like these? Serpentine blocks. Ten. Hmm. So the block are much more worth than the, the actual ceramic tiles, which is kind of interesting. Just carved pile of stone is more expensive than these ceramic tiles. Although, uh, as you can <laughs> imagine, ceramic tiles are not actually that. If you think about like clay bricks and ceramic tiles, uh, you can pretty much mass produce those out of nothing other than a bit of dirt you dig up, so yeah, um, maybe actually properly carved stone is actually better. I was kinda hoping to hit uh, at least some metal down here, but there doesn't seem to be not much. Shame. We have to do some kind of proper mine shaft somewhere at some point. We need to also remove these ramps once we are done. Seems a torch have been installed. So I'm gonna leave this to be made. I'm gonna ignore them for a bit. Also I can ignore a lot of that and uh, another yak was born. Damn. Where is the rancher? What are you doing? Stockpiling items. Oh 
Let's take a look at the butcher situation. Yak pasture. There's a male. Let's butcher the male. And do we really need this many? Let's keep six females and butcher this one. I should probably keep actually two males just in case something happens to them. Also, one thing I should be doing is uh, making a uh, crates and barrels and bags. Let's actually queue some of those storage bags. And they can make those whenever they have a moment. This is gonna take so much time to make those, but eventually, eventually. Also, it's gonna need a lot of wood. We still have decent amount around, but it's definitely slowly dwindling our wood stocks. Maybe we should keep an eye on the wood, actually. <laughs> there is so much garbage on here. That needs to be moved somewhere. I like that uh, the fortress is starting to actually look like something. Now that there is at least a bit of road and this thing being built a tunnel, bridge, this thing being made. It's starting to look like something except just a bunch of random stuff on ground here, built wherever it fits. We could actually maybe level this a bit more to create this like a more square orchard area here. Let's actually we're actually missing a, a piece of wall there. Well, let's let's get that filled in, and then we're gonna level this edge here <coughs> and create a, some kind of edge around this area. We should also forage the stuff out of the way there. All this. And uh, all those. There we go. Ah, I missed a couple. Sneakily avoiding my forage tool there. So we'll level this. This hill and that hill. And uh, I don't know what to do with this side yet. I wonder how um, this fence looks, like a corner of the fence. So if I just fence this uh, edge here and create a stair up. We'll see. This uh, grove needs to be moved. So that's cleared out. Let's get the mining order. I know it's gonna take forever for him to do this because he's working on all the millions of other mining jobs and everything he has to do at the moment. Same with the building guys. <coughs> it seems uh, it hasn't still spread the grass this way. I maybe should have uh, let the grass spread first before doing this middle lane of trees here. I may have to replace the middle lane with just uh, marble blocks or something. He's a busy guy. That's a lot of milk <laughs> on the ground there. We need uh, more barrels as well. I didn't actually build any of the barrels while I added those other things to be made, so let's get 
battles as well. Make a row of battles in there as well. We probably need to make a better stockpile somewhere later on as well. Move it inside or something. That's a lot of wheat. That's getting big as well. Also, for some reason the grass hasn't spread on that yet as well. On the dirt. Hopefully it does actually spread, because it, it would be kinda annoying to have this eyesore here, where it doesn't spread. I'm sure it spread on some of the other locations where we did move the stuff. Also, someone drank water when we have alcohol. Or is it all milk? Surely it cannot be just milk. Now we do have apple wine. Maybe someone was just uh, <coughs> wanting to drink some water instead. Like you some sometimes do. <coughs> so it was only just a bit of cold air, not much. Shame. I was kind of hoping that there would be a massive coal vein somewhere in here, but no. raining in the game. I kinda wish it would be raining outside in here as well. Still extremely hot. Hopefully it should be getting better sooner than later. So that scaffolding is gone now. That's good. Maybe I need to wait a couple seasons for it to actually start to grow. Maybe the springtime doesn't uh, grow any grass. And it's like during the summer season or something? I don't know. In any case, it's not happening at the moment. A lot of stuff happening here as well. Taylor is doing. Whoa. A lot of stuff. Looming, looming my fibers. I think we have. How much fiber do we have already stored? Because we, we could uh, probably stop on that. Not that many. No, we, we can we can keep producing. Is that that is a that is marble. Thank the gods. We have marble. So we don't need to actually buy that much marble. Let's just uh, punch a hole in there and see what pops out. It's probably just a more small <coughs> cluster of marble. Sorry about that. It seems to me I'm losing my voice. Um, so I think it's just a small cluster of marble there. But there should be some on the floor as well, which we can use. We can do some... <clears throat> building stuff with that, which is nice. So that's still not done. We should uh, forage this out of the way. And also I, I need to wait a bit of until producing more stuff. Because, uh, well, there is so many things to be done. And even at the max speed, it's gonna take a while. Some sort of grapefruit farm is fully, almost fully grown now. That's good. We started with 17 seeds, of which some of these emus actually ate some. So that's actually pretty good. And uh, I just noticed that the trader is here. So let's let's see, what do you have to offer this time? You do have alpacas. Mmm. Do we have anything to offer for the alpacas? Mm, 
let's see, wheelbarrows, expensive silver slivers are, are also quite valuable. We have a ton of cheese. We don't really have anything. Hmm. Copper bars, not not so expensive. Lapis lazuli blocks. No emu skulls, goblin skulls, bear bones, emu bones. Ton of milk. Orange clippings. We can definitely do clippings. That is a lot of strawberry seed. Let's trade some of that. Let's keep a. Let's keep a bit. Like that much. And we can also trade like sixty-six of these. <coughs> it's not much, but it's some. So there we go. Mm, let's see. I would love to get the alba alpacas, but getting a that thousand is gonna be quite quite difficult. Unless I sell everything we have and a bit more. I, I could definitely sell the wheelbarrows because they they are <laughs> worth something. <laughs> uh, don't sell the sword, even though it's not really good weapon, but don't sell it. Um, let's sell the wheelbarrows, we'll make some more. They are easy to make. Maybe I'll sell the silver slivers and uh, the malachite sil slivers as well and the copper slivers. Just gonna just use anything I can. Those training dummies are useless because we are using already what we need for now. <sighs> I'm not gonna sell straw because that's food. <sighs> Still only 600. Let's sell the emu bone and some of the yak bone. I like the bear stuff. We should make a ton of skull helmets, by the way. We could do the milk. Can we? It's food. No, we'll keep that. It's still half of the cotton seed. These would be uh, valuable, same with the bear hide. I, c I could sell a ton of wood, but I, I don't see that being a good idea, because we are, we are needing a ton of that. Hmm. Pine bucket. Yeah, I'll sell that. Actually, let's keep the bucket. So that I I have at least one available. Gonna sell more. More of these. 23 and 14. Still 230 away. We are definitely gonna have to sell some. Let's sell. I know it's gonna hurt. So. 213 means. 30 means. 115 logs of both. I don't think we can buy anything else at the moment, but we actually have uh, most of the stuff on our own. Let's trade for those for now. Yes, that was expensive trade. I would love to get the alcohol out of them. I don't know how, if I have anything to sell for the alcohol. Let's see how much uh, all his alcohol would cost me. 60. I think we can do that. We'll, um, 
Trade milk into alcohol. That sounds like a great idea. Trade. There we go. <laughs> now we are in the booze. It was actually one to one drink trade. <laughs> that should be fine. We should be producing more milk anyways. And uh, the alpacas need to be stationed somewhere. Hmm. What does an alpaca actually eat? Is it also hay? Or does it need something else? It produces wool over time. Ooh, superior to cotton when used as a material such as armor, mattress, go crossbow string. Eat straw. Will attempt to leave map if they don't get the straw. We'll uh, just uh, have them here for now. Pasture in there. Alpacas, any straw. Well, there is no, no different straws. So, there we go. And the rancher dude, whenever he's available, should be moving them in. Are you the rancher dude? No, you're the ambassador. We can actually dismiss that guy. Go away. So it seems you have to actually call the ambassador to get trading. That's my gut feeling, at least. Did you? No, he's just uh, finishing this first, it seems. I was wondering, did he already finish the whole room in there? But this episode is now done, so we got some really good trading. We got the alpacas finally, so we're gonna get wool. Where is this guy going? <laughs> Come on, rancher, get them in there. Let's actually look at where the rancher, rancher is. Sorry about the episode running really long then. Follow stockpiling items, so you should be moving those guys in the ranch area then. And uh, we are going to continue on all of these things on the next episode. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.